Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. So these roses are the inspiration for today's project. We will be transforming this thrift store chair. In the eight years that we've lived here, we've planted about 50 of these rose bushes on our property. The seat had been recovered twice, so I used needle nose pliers and a staple puller to remove the outer layer of fabric. The foam on this one was in good shape, so it didn't need replaced. I washed, bleached, and dried a painter's canvas drop cloth. I then set the cushion on top of the drop cloth, cutting around it, leaving plenty of allowance on the sides. Be sure to mark the corners with some painter's tape so you know where to stamp. As far as all these rose bushes, they do take a little bit of work with the weeding, pruning, feeding, and of course trying to avoid the snakes hiding in the rocks. That's a lot of fun. But come summer, when they bloom like this, that's the payoff. They're beautiful. But that's how life is sometimes, right? You have to put in the work, wrestle through the thorns, avoid the snakes, to get to the beauty. That's my deep thought for the day. Now it's time to get started stamping. We will be using the Iron Orchid Design stamp set called Painterly Roses. And here I'm using the DIY paint color Carnival Red. You will want to use a brayer to apply the paint to the stamp. I chose the color aviary to use for the leaves and stems. I thought it would be a neat effect to use the Iron Orchid design stamp called Kindest Regards that looks like handwriting. To get ready to paint the chair, I cleaned it with a damp rag. I decided to use a combination of reds and pinks along with a tiny bit of black. Here I'm using Little Black Dress, Carnival Red, Marquee, and Kissing Booth. As you can see, the color turned out to be a perfect match to my roses. To help thin the paint out a bit and help the brush move easily across the chair, I occasionally use my Water Girl Mist Bottle to mist the paint in the chair and sometimes the brush. I use a fine grit sanding sponge to sand down any high spots. Then I use a damp rag to wet distress the chair, wiping back paint and revealing the black underneath. I took a little bit of the liquid copper patina to highlight a few areas on the chair. For the finish, I decided to use clear wax. It brushes on easily, brings back the original color of the paint, and gives a gorgeous finish. After 24 hours, use a dry iron to heat set the stamped drop cloth. Position the canvas drop cloth on top of the seat cushion how you want it. Turn it over. Use a staple gun or hand stapler to secure it to the back. Corners can sometimes be tricky. You may need to turn it over several times to make sure you're getting the look you want. Turn the chair over and attach the seat with the long screws it came with. Use a soft cloth or a sock 
to gently buff the entire chair, giving it a nice sheen. And here's the finished project. And thank you to the DIY A Go Go YouTube channel for letting me contribute this video today. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, the link is shown in the description box below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below. To purchase any of the supplies used in today's video, the DIY paint, Iron Orchid Designs products, or paint pixie brushes, please see your local stockist or my website, mamabearblue.com.